Hi everyone. Just go, I'm just going to start cu cutting out the pattern for, for the apron, for the big apron. I'm going to explain it to you as I'm going through. Uh, this apron, that's the apron I'm doing. That one there. That one there, D apron. Now, this here, you can see there's bits of lace here lying on the table. See there's bits of light lace. That there's for the pockets. That's a beautiful one that's going to be for the pockets. That's the main ruffle lace. It's going right down the absolute bo bottom of it. And this one here is the one for the for the uh, for the for the for the, for, for the straps going over the shoulder. So I'm going to get them out of the way. Get them right right out of the way. So not going to be in the way. You'll see these. This one being cut, cut, cut out. You can see it's all there, ready, but I'm not going to do it just yet. That one there I have to, I've cut, cut a bit more than I need, I don't mind. And that's the pop pocket one there. It's a different one, the pop pocket one, it's a nicer one. That lace there is absolutely gorgeous, that lace. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, put this over there, put this over here. Now this other couple of other pieces I've got here, I will have to move stuff around while I'm doing it, and I'll have to pause. There's the pole pocket piece there. That has to be moved twice. That's on one spot to be cut, cut out. I'll have to move it. This one here, and I'm just about to unroll, is the is the um the waistband this long one here is the waistband that one there i'll cut this one out afterwards just gonna this might take a couple of videos to do this in parts but i know it's gonna take some time right okay now here's the main long strap that's the tie strap and they are the shoulder straps I got to double that and I got to double this one. So I'm going to make the two of them and I'm going to make four, four of them. They're cut on, they're laid down on double fabric now. They are. Now I'm going to come here and I'm going to start to cut across here. here. I want to get those scissors in line. There they are. You can see the scissors in line. Well, I'm going to start. Cut this across here. Actually, I might turn this lower. Oh, I can't see with that off. Can't see with that, that off. It's just starting to get warm. Oh, well, can't be helped. I'm going to bring this across here. So I'll have to double this, making these straps. Cut this up to here. It's absolutely gorgeous fa fabric. This I absolutely adore this fa fa fabric. Now, got to cut up now. Got to cut cut up. Probably have to move that so you can see me going up. All right, that's going to be right. Now I got to go up. Got to cut, cut up. I'm just getting in here to cut this out. Oh, it's just warm. Just warm. I know I've got these pinned close, but that's how I don't want to get them. So they're pinned close together. Have to rustle on this again. The tip of these scissors do not cut. I don't know why, but the tip of them do not cut. I'll just have to lift this up out of the way so I can rustle on that out of the way. There's other stuff coming down too. Oh god. Oh. That's the pocket and that strap, so that can stay there. Put that down there. 
I can't stand for much. It hurts me way too much to stand. I'll have a bad back. Now I've got to get this back in alignment now so you can see what I'm doing. I bring this around. Whoopsie daisy. That fell out on me. So you can see what I'm doing. This, uh, these two pieces here, I'm just going to get them out of the way. That's the pocket and the ice on. I'm just going to get them out of the way. Get this. Lay this out. So you can see where I'm going to be cut, cut, cutting. Yep. Now I'm going to go to this strap here and cut this strap out. I know there's, they're a bit close there, but that won't hurt because they have to come out, out of there. Uh, but I, sit. I can't stand, stand up and cut no more. I cannot stand and cut. Turn it that way. So I've got angles. I've got pieces here on angles. So I'm going to just cut that across there. Get those scissors where they can cut. There's the tip of these scissors don't cut. The tip of these scissors do not cut. I've done everything to get them to cut. They just do not want to cut. Good, that's coming into there. Oh, it's just hot. Actually, I might turn this around and cut down, I think. I might turn this right around and cut down this piece. That main tie strap is going to be the longest, longest, longest one. I think this might be bad, better if I do it this way. And then I've got the thing to do it. I don't want one want to tear the thing. It's going to make it easier this way. It's a lot easier this way to cut. Listen to here and I'll be right. And if I've got a bit too much, I can fix it up after it's sewn up. But these straps, there's certain things that have to go with it. Down. Colour cutting the other paper. It doesn't matter. There we go. That might be my This one should be free. This one should be free. Just about free. I haven't come through it yet. Free now. That's one strap cut. It's not colouring it out completely. I'm just going to fold that one up out of the way so I can get to this one to cut this one. I just got to run down the side there, gonna run, run across the top here. Oh. So I've got the flower patterns on this. This is why I got extra. So I knew I could put these to the way I want this to go. That's going, that flower pattern is going up. This is the back strap on B. This is the back strap on B. No, that's more what I want. I want that flower pattern going up it. Not down it. I want the flower flower I want all the flower pattern going up it. So it makes it look nice and tidy. It makes it look nicer. I'm put, I just move that pin. It's gonna come across here now. I can straighten up our stuff afterwards. Just gonna cross there. That little, little square can go out of the way. And now I'm going to go down this black line, right down it. So I'm doing large on this. I'm doing the large one. This side here is where that other goes in with it. That be beautiful lace goes into this. You'll get to see that when I'm sewing this up. This because this has to fold, fold in a small bit so it can all match up. I can fix that that up. It has to fold, fold in on both of them. There's that one cut, cut out. That's wrong and rubbish. 
ice cream container over here is rubbish. I know it's got other stuff on it, but it's rubbish. But being out of the way, put that in there. So I'm not dropping rubbish on the floor. That's one. Down, down the other way. I'm going to put that, that over there. Grab these other car couple. I'm going to do these. The big one is big. That's the tie strap that runs down the back of it. Oh, whoopsie daisy, it's going there, you have a way. This tie strap is big. I might turn this tie strap around so I can get this other one out too. So I can get this small, smaller one out. Get this, get the, get this front, that's the front strap floor for D. It's got front strap D. I'll show that to you when I get this out. Come across. Cut this across, just cutting below the pattern, but I'll still be able to. Okay, just making sure I've got room to go up there. Stop there, and then I can fold that into there. And I can bring this over here. This is the front piece, it's facing me now. Under there. She attaches the transmitter receiver unit to the funnel shaped antenna at the back of the lens. I've never done patterns this close to a jar ever. Oh, it's always first time for something. Others will deliver the returning radar signals for analysis. I can trim this up a bit more. Bring this right up through. This big strap is the big one. Right, that's that one. That can come up there. I'm going to go up beside this one. I have to pin this down again and so I can do it. It's just a little bit more wider, but it'll be okay. I'll fix it up. Across there. So then I can cut this one out. He checks all the digits and I can okay, right up to the corner corner here and this machine presses melted plastic into the shape of casing for the radar gun. Go to there. And straighten that piece up. Straighten this one up and uh, while I think of it. This prevents damage to sensitive electrical I'll cut across here because I have to join the, these two slave pieces together. Where a ro roller would come in handy with this. I was on the roller. I don't have one. But it's going to come. That is going to come. They are like that. Rubbish. In my ro rubbish bin. One good thing to have a bin like that that gets rid of your rubbish out of the way. Now I'm just going to trim the these down a bit so they're not so big. And across to there. That's rubbish. Fish in there. That one there is okay. It's this side one here that needs to be trimmed up. I've got to fix up that big one afterwards. I'll go on to the pocket. Then the pocket and the other one. The strap across the front. The waistband. Get that one car cut out next. got some darts I've got a pull put in to match up the darts on the on the ruffle. One thing I have to cut too is the right ruffle. Get that out of the way. Get that end bit. Is that 
bit. When I sew this up, I can take the rest of that out off. Right, that's the two straps. Okay, that's the front strap, that's the back strap. That's how I want this when it's all sewn up. That's going to be good. That's going to be good. That's going to look good and all that. Sewn to get it together. That's one. That's one strap. It's got the front and back. I need the front and back of them. It'll all, come, it'll all get even up when it's all muscling. I have to get this all muscled. That's that one done. I know I've got more of these to cut yet, so I've got to be able to get that lot laid out and ready to do it again. I'm going to cut and grab the muscle oh, and fix this one up. This is the big tie. Undo that one. And come down to here. I didn't cut them up. Oh, good. Good I didn't cut, cut in that one. Just checking, make sure I didn't cut in too far in. No, I did not. That's good. I'm going to come up to this top piece up here and cut this top piece off this top, off this strap Let's go across here all these all have to match up right, that can go in there right, now what I've got to do I've got to cut this off here whoopsie daisy I'm going to come back up to that side piece to cut there. I have a lot more than me to This pattern has left it with the seams on this, so that's good. Go in there, that piece of uh, fabric, I might want that piece of fabric for something else or someone's looking for something for some patchwork, they can, they can hire some for some patchwork, is there something nice on there if they're looking for it for patchwork. Now I've got to cut this one up, I've got to cut through this one now. Some people say not to use those what the quilters use, those the right roller cut cutters, but I reckon there's some spots where you do need to use them. Where you do need to use them. Right, there's nothing much on that one, so that can go there. Now I'm gonna cut this one up. I'm gonna cut this one. Coming up here, this is the point of this one. When I sew, I've got to take it in a bit more when I sew in, so I can get that be beautiful point on that. This is one. Which one I might grab? I might grab the, the waistband, because that one's not going to be any hassle, because it's just a straight through piece. It's already pinned down onto a double. I want to get these absolutely when I pin down again, I want to get them absolutely even. I can straighten this one up afterwards. That goes into my rubbish. Right now, can I can put that down there. Oh, there are those three that have been. Just want to see what's on the other side of it. Oh yeah, it's okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, when that's sewn up, you'll see it. Oh, that's the big one. Okay, waistband piece. Waistband piece. Looking for paper. Here it is here. Here it is here, the waistband and the pockets on another piece. I've got to cut it double to. Um, where's the pocket piece? That's, this is it, this is it. I can hear, hear it in there. Now the waistband. Cut this one out. It's going to be straight through. Straight through cut. 
And then I'm going to get the big, the big awesome for the strap, the shasha shoulder strap pieces, and I'm going to do the, that one. These are the bits of big bits here I've got left over. There's a coil quilter, I can sell these pieces to a coil quilter uh, if they want them so they can get these right roses off. And that's what I might do with what these pieces, these good pieces left out over. If someone wants them, I can sell them. Because uh, I know there'd be some coil quilters that'd be looking for certain stuff. I'll go through it and I'll check it. What's here and what's not for a quilter. Now, I don't want to get this in the way. I'll have to pin this. There's oh, oh, pockets there. Pockets there. Okay, that's that. I have to get some more. Those three and get them off soon so I can, can pin them down. Now, here's the waistband. It's going to get these out of the way over there. So they're out of the way. I oh, know one thing I should have done with this, but oh well, it's too too late now. The iron's off, and it takes a bit to hurt her heat up. It's a bit to hurt her heat up. Just gonna leave that there. Right, okay. This is the waistband. You do. Get this out of the way. It would be good to have it. No, I'll, I'll fix it up. I'll fix it up. Sit the same machine with this and sew this. It won't be long. I just have to pin other bits down and work them out. But there, say a quilter will want that because they, they might be able to get some patterns off that. Now, get here and cut this fold edge off it. I've already cut the, the main skirt piece and I'm gonna line, line the skirt. Oh, you haven't seen the blue I've got for the skirt piece. This is no, it's just a nicer blue. That's the blue I got to line the skirt with, to line, line, the, to line, line it. Oh, I like that. Different type of blue and just a different te to texture. I might, I don't know yet, I'm thinking of even cutting off another skirt piece and not make, make it so it's got that right through from back to front. Use that inside but use the other. I know there's a couple of pieces I have to get far for facings for and I've got some of this left over I'm going to use that for far facing my pieces that I need. Now, it's the top piece isn't it? Yep. All these marks on here are for where parts are all line up. Get this all cut out. So I've got to pin those other straps down. I've got to pin the other pocket. I've got a pocket, pocket pin down on one and I want to cut, cut out. You'll see it in a sec when I can get it done. I've got the flower design right in the center of the pocket so when I cut one, one, one out I'm going to cut the other one out and I've got to cut double of that one so it's got it inside as well looking forward to getting this apron done it's going to look absolutely gorgeous when it's all done out of the way it's a long waistband this waistband 
so I don't leave a good edge. Yeah, there's some stuff there what a quilter might want. I know there is quilters at Wassel. Yeah. There's some stuff there that a quilter might use, I say. Oh, rubbish. And straight to my right and rubbish. Straight into there. Now, I'm come here and cut this. Go through. That little bit is too small for a quarter. Right, this piece here. It's good. Move that piece. Move that piece. Now, we'll just pick this up and move this around. Oh yeah, that's right. I said I was going to get the the white lace out and do that, so you can see that. Actually, I might stop this one. Twenty twenty six. 